TCAP practice test question uh, number 40 in the math section for 7th graders. Uh, the salt solution was a mixture of 4 pounds of salt with 10 gallons of water. At this rate, how many pounds of salt are required for 15 gallons of water? Now we're going to talk about how to do this in two different ways, but they're essentially the same way. The first is just to figure out how many pounds of salt we get uh, for one gallon of water, or how many uh, gallons per pound or whatever, and this uh, and then apply that to the 15 gallons of water that we have. So what I'm going to do here for LB is salt per 10 gallons of water. If I work that out, I get 0 0.4 pounds per gallon. Now I can take that information, and I've got 15 gallons. I'm going to multiply that times the 0 0.4 pounds per gallon. And you can see the gallons will nicely eliminate themselves. I'll be left with pounds, and 15 times 0.4 gives me 6 pounds. So the answer is going to be G one way or the other. So if you just want to divide the pounds of salt by gallons and get the pound per gallon price and then work it out to get uh, to multiply that by the number of gallons of water in the second situation and get 6, fine. Do that. That's a perfectly appropriate way to do it. I think earlier I said gallons per pound which would involve flipping it over and you know that's fine too but it makes it easier if you just do pounds per gallon. Um, on the other side of it, I can look at the fact that I'm talking about water and salt. That would be two things. So I've got two things. I'm going to count the number of numbers that I see. I see 4 pounds, 10 gallons, and 15 gallons. So I have three numbers. And I'm looking for something about salt. So that means I'm looking for the fourth number. And using my 2, 3, 4th scenario, I know I'm setting up a proportion. And in this situation, I'm going to put uh, 4 LB on top for 4 pounds of salt. And then put 10 gallons of water, because that would be one thing. That would be the initial solution. And the other one, I know that gallons go on the bottom, because they're on the bottom of the other one. So 15 goes there. I put X here. Then I can use cross products. So I do uh, 15 times 4 on one side and then 10 times x on the other. Uh, 15 times 4 is 60 equals 10x. So it's really cross multiply and divide. And uh, 60 divided by 10 gives me a final answer of 6 pounds. So either way you want to do it is uh, just fine by me and you can still get the correct answer. It's just kind of whatever works in your head the best I would say.